Alright, you know what I'm still upset about? Last episode and the audio not recording. I mean, I tried to cover it up with, you know, a little uh, post-recording voiceover, but it was really quiet because it was not the software that I used to record my videos. So yeah, I'm still trying to... I don't know how that one's going to turn out, but anyway, we're going to start off a little team recap here. I did a little bit of grinding off camera, but this is Call the Armaldo with the static ability. He's got Screech, Harden, Mudsport, and Water Gun. Uh, he's, uh, he's young. He's useful. Can't wait until he learns an actual stab move. That'd be nice. This is Garb the Gengar with the Swarm ability, which is completely useless, but you know, it's a Gengar. With Hypnosis, Lick, Spite, and Mean Look, not any good moves right now, but he's gonna get him at some point, probably. And then we got Chad the Raticate with the, uh, excuse me, pressure ability, with the tackle, focus energy, quick attack, and hyper fang, still upset he evolved, and I'm never gonna stop bringing it up. And then we got Byron the Lantern, the MVP of everything, with the natural cure ability with water gun, thunder wave, supersonic, and spark, and then 20XX with the ninjask, with the uh, natural cure ability again, I remember that. With Fury Cutter, Double Team, Leech Life, and Screech. And then we finally have... Alright, oh, sorry, I forgot I got rid of my Shed Ninja earlier. Alright. So, uh, I did a little bit of grinding off, off camera. I just beat up some of the uh, trainers up here. Nothing super interesting happened. I wanted to do this at some point in one of the episodes, but that's going to take up a lot of time. And I might just need to do that like in an episode by itself. And right now, I'm not really feeling up to beating, well, like, four people in a row without healing or being able to switch out my starting Pokemon, so that's going to be at a later date. So yeah, we're going to switch grain, or switch train up uh, Call and Garb to level 20 in this episode, or we're going to try to. Uh, I'm, we're probably only going to get Call this time, but we're going to try to make it to Lava Ridge, and then in the next episode... We're gonna beat Flannery, hopefully, which would be, uh, that'd be ideal, but, you know, things happen, and we, uh, we can deal with it, but, you know, I honestly can't imagine myself losing with Byron on the team. Byron's amazing. Uh, yes, switch move. Right, we're gonna go to Garve, because we also gotta switch train this guy. Should we try to just, uh... Should we try just to, to go with it? No, we shouldn't, because this is going to take forever. I do not want to do that. Okay. Uh, we're just going to go 20xx. Mm, yeah, okay. Should be fine. Just got to fury this cutter thing down. And after a few times, we should be good. It's doing 10 each time. 11 that time. Haha, <laughs> loser. There's 20XX. 20XX is really fragile and he doesn't have good moves yet, so he's really hard to uh, train up and keep alive right now. So I'm hoping that at some point that's going to change. I haven't looked up his moveset yet, so uh, you know we'll find something, hopefully. <sighs> but it's going to take a while just to get everything like set in stone, like my team. Because right now, the only things that I know are staying on the team are Byron, probably Garv, and uh, maybe Chad. But honestly, other than that, I don't really think anything is a permanent member. My girlfriend still wants a Pokemon named after her, after we lost the last one. <sighs> She wasn't too upset about it, though, so we're good. Ah, oh, excuse me. Anyway, I just had dinner. My dad cooked some steaks. It was delicious. Uh, we have this thing called a sous vide, and uh, basically it's like this hot water bath that you can set... Oh, come on, Byron. Anyway, you can set it to a specific temperature, and you can leave the steaks in there for as long as you want, and they won't be overcooked. Uh, but like the longer you keep them in there the more tender they are so we uh, he cooked them for like four hours in that thing and uh, at the end you put a little sear on it in a pan throw some butter on top of it it's delicious and, uh, yeah 
Oh wait, we're not going to uh, Lawbridge yet. I'm an idiot. We still gotta go to Falibor. Oh, that's such a long route. Okay, if we make it to Falibor after this, I'm gonna be happy. Also, this is our encounter, and I am not upset about it. This is a very decent thing to have. Uh, not sure what it should replace yet, but we'll figure something out. Uh, you think you can take a water gun? Okay, that's fine. Uh, should we just start throwing balls? Oh, I didn't get balls. Should I go back and get balls? I feel like I should do that. Okay, after this, we're gonna go back and get balls. Because I think I have some extra money to spend. And... That should set us up for the next encounter as well. I don't think I'm gonna catch this just because, uh... You know, Skarmory... It, it's... It's kind of subpar in the... Fighting ways of Pokemon, which are kind of the most important. So we're just going to beat that up and put our bets on the next one, and I will be right back and I will have Pokeballs. Wow, I had a lot of money. So, uh, stuff we got. Uh, we got I got 20 extra Super Potions and 20 Great Balls. So, uh, if we can't catch whatever's next, then I honestly... It, it doesn't deserve to be caught if something's gonna be that stubborn so we're just gonna get to the other side of this <sighs> dang it's already been a while in the recording it's already been six minutes which is not ideal because we're trying to make it to Falibor and at this point I don't know if we're going to be able to we might just try to get like good bit through the route, you know, to like the, a checkpoint. But honestly, no, you know, we'll, we'll make it to Falibor and then that'll be the end of the episode. So there we go. Alright, cool. Also, I just want to point out, we are very close to... <laughs> can't even say this with a straight face. We're very close to uh, a... Ooh, this is a good encounter. A... Uh, a milestone for subscribers. We're close to 10. I know, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I think we have 8 right now. And, uh, you know, <laughs> we're making our way there. It's, uh, what should I put in? Hold on, I'll skip to the point where I'm actually catching. Okay, we got it down. We sent in call. And we just scratched him down. And bam, first ball. Very nice. I don't know what to name this thing. I, I, <laughs> I know what to name it. Uh, from a comment on our first video, just some random comment I got. He's also one of my friends in real life. So he now has a, uh, a Pokemon here. And this is gonna... We gotta put Call in the front because we're switch training. Okay, there we go. Alright, cool. We got a Machoke. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, we're gonna switch out, just because it's the easiest thing to do. Go Chad. I miss your huge power. Also, I did some research on that ability, and uh, it doubles the attack stat. Which was amazing. And, uh, and pressure is not that good. Good. So, uh, I'm never gonna stop being upset about that. And, yeah, I'm gonna keep bringing it up until we finish this Nuzlocke. Whether or not I lose or win. And if we lose, I'm gonna blame it on Evolving Chat. And I'm not joking. Because Rattata Chad was the best and will forever be in my memory, even though he's not really dead. But he is. You know? Yeah, you know. You know. Yeah, you know. If you're at this point in the video, I know. I know you know. Right? Right. It's cool. I'm, I'm glad we're both sharing this moment. 
Hmm. I'll just end in chat again. And we're almost level 20 with call, so we can... <sighs> it's gonna be one of these. I'll skip again. That took way longer than I care to mention, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna keep trucking along. I need a new chair. You hear that creak? I'm gonna assume you can hear that creak. Oh, sorry. That was an alarm I had. I don't have to talk to this guy, right? Nice. Cut here and heal. Go digital. Very nice. Okay, we'll heal. Yes, yes, yes. Am I the only one that ever found this lady sketchy? Uh, yeah, stay here as long as you want. Oh, you think you've stayed long enough? I don't think so. Wait, we have the mock bike. We can actually get up here. We're gonna do it. Is there an item? No, they're just trainers. Okay. I'll come back at some point and try to find items up there, but I'm on a little bit of a time crunch because I'm trying to make the foul board. Uh, we'll get those later. Uh, who's in front? Yeah, we got a call. Alright, cool. Let's see how much time I skipped. Skipped about six minutes, so. Yeah. So yeah, about nine minutes in the episode, that's fine. We're gonna keep going. I have a question. Does Ditto like copy the stats as well? So like if a level one Ditto copied a level 100 Dialga, would it be the same as a level 100 Dialga? I really want to know, because I've never known how that works. Anyway, he's a level 20, so we're gonna start switch training Garv here. Send it in chat again. I gotta find an XP share. Cool, that's annoying. Stop. <sighs> Come on. Okay, the uh, the thing I ordered that'll let me use my controller is coming. I promise. I know the keyboard is annoying. It's annoying to me too. So at some point. We'll get it. Uh, no. Curse is a terrible move. Cleffa. Yes, change. Go carve. Cool, cool, cool. Very cool. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the new layouts thing that I have going on here. Because, uh, it took me a bit to... Jeez. <sighs> okay, I'll skip again. Okay. We got charmed, confused, put to sleep. That was terrible. I hated that. It's because Chad evolved. That's why. Anyway, uh, we can put Garb in the front now. We can switch train him, and we get an encounter here. Please be something great. <gasps> okay, if you don't understand why I'm so excited, it's because that this thing, without the ability... Um, Without the abil ability true on, I don't know why I did that. I'm just so excited. Without the ability true on, this thing is basically a legendary Pokemon. So if we get this, that's amazing. Uh, we'll send in Byron. Okay, this is good. This is good. Um, unless something super interesting happens, I'll skip to the point when I'm actually catching it. Okay, we're attempting now. Just because if I hit it one more time, it's dead. Oof, oof, oof. And then this is annoying. And then Chad's about to fall asleep here. So I figured something out. Its moveset is Slack Off, uh, Yawn, Encore, and Scratch. So, I mean, pretty good. Because it can heal itself, and it can put things to sleep, which is something I need for catching. Which is very good. And it can't hurt Garv, so it does Garf have? Oh, I can put to sleep with that. Dang. <laughs> Should have done that. Uh, I don't know what to do here, guys. Because I don't know if I can catch this without hitting it. Oh, we can confuse it. There we go. Hit yourself, please. Hit yourself. Dang it. 
Okay, and this is a little bit risky, but I'm gonna hit it. Okay, hit yourself. Okay, this might be my best chance. Oh my god, that did nothing. This might be my best chance to catch it, though. Come on, please stay in the ball. <sighs> oh, yes! Okay, nice. Okay, yes. Uh, we're gonna name this Johnny after another one of the comments I got. A guy named Jonathan Suo, again, one of my friends in real life. And we have to pick that up. That's something I'm gonna be using. That's amazing. Oh, that was great. Okay. Alright, we gotta make it a Falibor. We're gonna try to avoid fights, and I'll just come back for him. Off camera. Because when you're on a time crunch, you can't be fighting random people. That only attacks you if you talk to them. Okay. I feel like I'm close. Move, move, move. Dang it. Okay. I think it's this kid that I'm in Falibor, which would be very nice. Uh, we'll switch just because I want to. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, we're just going to spark this and probably it'll one shot. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Go Byron. Byron's so good. Okay, cool. Alright, let's keep going. And we are in Falibor, finally. Okay. I think we probably have time to go get one more encounter today. But like... Okay. Dang it. I'll skip to the end of this. So I figured out during that cut that most of the commentary I say is just what I think about while I'm playing the normal game. Like, I, n I never thought about it before. Also, we get a Hound Door. That's pretty cool. I have been wanting a Fire type, so there we go. And this will be easy to catch, too. So that's a plus. Do we just throw a ball and see if it works? probably do that. We have great balls. We have a lot of great balls. We got 17, 16 now, but we got a lot. First ball? Cool! Okay, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna switch the layout up, because we're gonna put some things on here. Uh, hmm. Alright, fine. You win, Adeline. I know it's not a girl, but you said you didn't care. And Hound Doom is super cool. So there we go. Alright. We're gonna heal. Switch the layout, and then that'll be the episode. Seems like a long one. I'm not sure though, because the skipping. Scooch, please. Yes, Scooch, please. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Here we go. Okay, let's switch up this layout. Right here. Okay, we're definitely using Johnny here. He's got a max revive on him. Sorry, 20XX. We're switching you out. And I think we're gonna use this finally. So, no, he's dead. Okay, cool. Alright. Anyway, that was the episode. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Next episode, we're probably going to make it through that cave and maybe back through the volcano. That might be too much, though. And then, you know, after that, yeah, we'll just keep going on. So if you like this ep episode, please subscribe, like, and watch the next one. See ya!